Cars are doing whatever. Or up at Mount Hood, it looks beautiful yeah. out there. That snow, some of it's still sticking on the ground there. You know, I think a lot of this is actually uh, the workers piling up snow. Ah. So it looks like there is more sto uh, snow still left over at this point in early summer and our late spring, but actually a lot of it has melted off already, at least at 5,000 feet. But just wanted to share this wonderful view here of Mount Hood. Blue skies are out, just a lovely summer view up there. Temperatures close to 60 degrees up there in the valley here and up to Vancouver. That's your view uh, looking towards the Washington side from the Riverview Community Bank camera in Vancouver. Uh, you can see the Columbia right there. We're in the mid 60s here in Portland. A fabulous day shaping up. We'll soon be in the 70s here early afternoon, low to mid 70s. So again, enjoy these conditions. This is almost perfect summer weather in my book. We're not too hot. We're still feeling some of that sunshine and that warmth and we're seeing blue skies and also not seeing much wildfire smoke in the area. So near perfect conditions to get outdoors today. Notice these clouds clearing out. We are pushing out and burning off these clouds even for the coastline too. We are seeing some uh, blue skies and sunshine out there as well. So calm conditions all around. Now today's our last day of June. We start July tomorrow. So quick wrap up of the month so far here as we near the end. Rain totals still around three inches. So if you forget the first couple of weeks here of the month were extremely soggy. We are seeing well above normal rainfall even though our last 10 days here in Portland have been dry. So a nice finish to the month here. Also temperatures uh, started out fairly cooler than average. Then we had that three day stretch in the 90s. So if we average that out, we were actually near normal here, a surplus of about a degree uh, compared to average. So not a bad month here, fairly normal temperatures and also a lot of rain. Now in terms of rainfall, not expecting much and even as we head towards the weekend, we've been hinting at some rain showers as we near 4th of July. The rain that's coming looks to be fairly light uh, as we head our way into the rest of today. We are looking dry and sunny tomorrow morning. Expect to see another start here under some cloud cover. We'll see that nice marine push that onshore flow winds from the west. In other words, so pushing in clouds across the coast. Some of those clouds seep over into the valley. So starting out a little cloudy tomorrow morning, we then push those clouds out a sunny finish another day tomorrow close to 80 degrees. Beautiful Friday on tap. Now Saturday, a weak system starts to roll in and we start to push in some moisture even by Saturday night. Slim chance we see a quick round of light showers around the valley. As we head into our Sunday morning, that moisture rolls in from the south and will mainly hit areas here around the gorge, also the mountains and the foothills. We keep much of the heavier rain around the Cascade Crest and out towards those higher elevations of the mountains around us. But going into the afternoon, a chance that we do see a few of these showers pushing into the valley here, also around Portland. So Sunday afternoon, there is that chance for some light showers here. Then as we head into our Monday, that's the 4th of July. We are clearing things out, but a few lingering showers around the morning may make things a little damp. But if you're celebrating later in the afternoon, we should see dry conditions as these rain showers start to push out the door and towards the north. So really not bad, even though there is some rain here in the forecast uh, for today. Beautiful. We'll see sun breaks through the afternoon and a sunny finish. Tillamook today highs right near the 70s. Warm for spots around the coastline. Low 80s today in Portland should just be a beautiful day and a bit toasty out there as we hit the low 80s up and down the valley. So here's your seven day forecast. Uh, we'll keep lovely conditions going through Saturday. Just that round of some light showers as we head our way into Sunday and Monday. And again, if you've got plans to barbecue, celebrate outside on the 4th of July, I don't think it's going to be a washout by any means here, but a chance for some damp conditions. That's good. okay. Well, you know, we've we've had much worse years on both ends. So. That's true. So yes. it's kind of right in the middle there, a little yeah. cooler than normal, but still not not a bad holiday. I like it. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back with some more news and a final check on that forecast.